Ever wondered why AI, ML, and data science professionals always prefer the MacBook while others won't touch anything other than a Windows laptop? Is one really better at coding and training AI models and running AI tools? Or is it all just hype and personal preference? I get this question a lot, especially from students. What kind of laptop should I use for machine learning and data science? I have studied data science, machine learning, natural language processing, deep learning. In my college, I have done countless assignments and I've also participated in tons of hackathons. And so therefore, I am going to talk about what my preference for laptop is. And of course, I always chose the most affordable and the best option that is available out there because of course I did not earn in college and I did not have a lot of money. Also, I'm currently working as a machine learning engineer and I have a set laptop that I always use for my tasks. And I'm going to talk about all the laptops that I use and all the laptops that I have during my college life and currently now as a working professional. Plus I'm keeping an eye out for the latest trends and price drops. So I'm going to talk about everything and all the budgeted affordable best options that are available right here. So therefore keep watching it till the end. For real data science and machine learning, NVIDIA GPUs with CUDA support are the industry standard. Yes, you can run data science applications on other platforms like MacBooks with Apple Silicon, but in India, most students and colleges still prefer NVIDIA-powered Windows laptops for compatibility and flexibility. And that includes myself. I'm going to talk about the laptop that I used during my college, but let me just give you some information before we jump into the specifications of the laptop that I used to use. For students, a GPU of VRAM is a good baseline if you're getting a laptop with a dedicated GPU. Don't confuse this with system RAM. VRAM is for the GPU and it matters for deep learning and large datasets. For most student projects, however, you won't need more than 8 GPU of VRAM. But if you can get 12 GPU or more, like in some RTX 4060 or 4070 laptops, then it's a huge bonus because in hackathons, you need to deal with huge data sets. And obviously, hackathons are the best way to get an internship, a research internship or an industry internship as soon as possible when you're in college and learning machine learning. Aim for at least 16 GB of system RAM, but 32 GB is ideal if you can afford it. Data science tools like Jupyter, Pandas, and even basic machine learning models can eat up RAM really quickly. Learn from me because I have been there, done that person, yeah. especially when multitasking. For CPU, go for at least an Intel Core i5 or Ryzen 5, 12th gen or newer, but i7 or Ryzen 7 is best for heavy multitasking and future proofing. A good display, 15.6 inch or larger, full HD or higher, and 300 plus nits brightness is a must for coding and data visualization. Battery life is very important, but don't expect miracles from powerful laptops. Five to seven hours is realistic. However, for MacBook, it's probably over 12 or 24 hours, as I've seen from my friends. But I used to use an HP laptop in my college. All specifications coming soon, just after this. Portability matters, especially if you're carrying your laptop to college every day. Therefore, definitely go for a lightweight laptop. This was the mistake that I did. But within the price range that I was going for, along with a dedicated GPU, I could not really get a lightweight laptop because that would exceed my budget. Don't spend more than 1.5 to 2 lakhs unless you have a very specific need. There are great options even under 60,000 for beginners and plenty of powerful choices between 80,000 and 1.5 lakhs. During my time in college, I personally used an HP Pavilion gaming laptop 15DK2XXX. Here are all the specifications of this laptop that I worked with. Processor is 11th gen Intel Core. RAM is 8GB out of which 7.75 GB is usable. Storage is 477GB SSD. Graphics card is 4GB inbuilt GPU. Multiple GPUs were installed in my laptop, which was a huge advantage because my, most of my friends did not have a laptop with a dedicated GPU. However, I had one and it really helped me to stay ahead of the game. System type is 64-bit operating system, x64 based processor, OS is Windows 11. And this laptop has an inbuilt GPU, which was a game changer for running machine learning models locally, prototyping, and even a bit of gaming on the side. I did not game. I did not say that. It wasn't the most high-end machine, but it was affordable, reliable, and got the job done for all my data science assignments, coursework, everything. I could easily run Jupyter Notebooks, do data analysis, and even train small to medium ML models without always relying on college servers. And honestly, with everybody trying to use college servers, it was really impossible to get scheduled time on that. Therefore, I highly, highly recommend this laptop. 
as a working professional. However, right now I use MacBook Pro, which is provided by our office itself. It is very powerful and it gets the job done. And it's quite expensive, 2.5 lakhs. However, I'm not going to recommend this. But what I use is a smaller MacBook Pro for my daily work. So this is the MacBook Pro, a smaller one that I use for projects, for assignments, for uh, hackathons, etc. right now. And this is the one I bought. It is under 2 lakh, I think 1.8 lakh something, which is a good investment if you are going for something, you know, after starting to work. Not in college, definitely not in college. In college, as I said, I had this Windows laptop, which I still carry right now. It's not very useful right now because I mostly focus on MacBook Pro, but it saved it saved me from a lot of situations in my college. So what is the difference between MacBooks and Windows, especially with respect to machine learning? So definitely, as you know, MacBooks are smooth, consistent, and just work. The interface is polished, battery life is excellent, almost 24 hours, and the setup is usually hassle-free. They're slim, light, and perfect for carrying around campus or to a workplace. But the sad fact is that what you buy is what you get, no upgrading, RAM, or storage later. And in college, often we have to install some kind of software which are not very compatible with Mac in general, but Windows, everything is compatible. So I definitely recommend Windows when you're going for college, but after that, MacBook is the recommended choice. Windows laptops, they offer unmatched flexibility. Yes, the setup can be a bit of a wrestle, drivers, configurations, and maybe some troubleshooting. But once you're set, you can customize everything. Uh, you can easily install Linux tools through WSL2, upgrade RAM or SSD later, and tailor your workspace exactly however you want. You can also install uh, VM and use Linux, Ubuntu, whatever you want. You can also double boot your machine. We used to double boot our machine and use Linux as well because that was a recommended choice for most of our CS assignments and machine learning assignments. So let's discuss the best laptop options for data science and machine learning students in India. First is the cheapest ones, which is less than 60,000. Not too powerful, but good enough. First is the HP 15, which is 12th gen Intel Core, and it is i5 and 16 GB RAM and 5.2 GB SSD integrated graphics. Second one is the Dell Inspiron 1415. So this is reliable and has good after sale support. I also had a Dell laptop, which I sold later on because it wasn't really very useful. And I swapped it with this HP Pavilion gaming laptop, which was really, really awesome. The only caveat of this laptop that I said, this one, is that it was quite heavy. So it was difficult to carry it every day to college. However, I always used to travel back and forth from my hostel to college, so it wasn't really a big deal. And I used to come back to hostel and solve the problems on this laptop. It's pretty powerful. Now for mid-range laptops, I think the best ones are the Lenovo ThinkPad E14, which is Ryzen 5 or 7. It has 16 GB RAM and 5.2 GB SSD. These two things always remember, very important. And it's rugged and very upgradable. And second one is the ASUS TUF gaming laptop, F70. RTX 2050 GPU and upgradable RAM. Upgradable RAM is extremely beautiful because it helps you to work longer and work with better support, like on larger data sets as and when you need. Now comes the upper mid-range ones from 1 lakh to 1.5 lakhs. I would say Lenovo Legion 5 Pro Ryzen 7, 16 GB RAM and RTX 2060. They're excellent for machine learning, not so much for gaming, don't do gaming in college. Second one is the ASUS ROG Strix G16, which is Intel Core i7 and RTX 4060 to 4070. And the last one is the MacBook AIR M2. A few of my friends used to use this. It is 8 GB or 16 GB RAM. It's great for coding, unbeatable battery, but not so powerful as in MacBook Pro, which I prefer when you're starting to work. This is a best tool for a working professional applying, doing assignments that the interviewers give you, and in general, everything. It's probably the best one, and it's very lightweight as well. You see? Very lightweight. Finally comes the premium ones, that is 1.5 to 2 lakh plus. And obviously, among them, the best one is the MacBook Pro 14-inch. This is the 14-inch one. You can get larger, smaller, as and when, whatever you want. M3 or M4, 16 GB or 24 GB RAM. Both are super amazing. Super bell, display battery, and it's really, really good like for long lasting, very long lasting, and it will stay with you for five plus years. Definitely a good investment. Laptop is a great investment. And invest in your laptop in college, but I would say be very careful of what you're getting because it's going to stick with you for a long time. So these are all the very best options that I came up with in the market right now in India. Definitely get what you like and let me know in the comments if you want any other advice, if you have any other, any other queries or anything. 
and let me know the laptop you chose. Definitely help out everyone out there because, you know, everybody could use a little bit of help in this trying times because job and like job market isn't looking very good right now. So definitely try to help out as much as possible. Definitely reach out to me if you need any referral or any kind of help. I'll be there. All the best and take care. Bye.